Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Scorpio, for the last half of July 2023. Here we go, Scorpio. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Scorpio. Anywhere in your chart, really, or if you're just checking in on a Scorpio, you are all welcome here. It just might not resonate with all of you. Whew, emotions are running high, the super moon. <laughs> wow, all worked up about something. What's going on, Scorpio? Oh, and a time for healing. Maybe you're just coming to this crescendo with the emotions so you can heal them. Step out of your comfort zone. You got the north node and the balsamic moon. The balsamic moon, time for healing. Maybe you need a nice healing salad with some balsamic dressing animal spirit guide animal spirit guide for up in the ether for scorpio oh i saw a bunch of spirit cards oh my god and then the dragon comes out wow Whew. like you're being watched right now by spirit you're being um protected for sure with these high emotions so something coming to the surface, something getting you really uh, involved in it. And spirit is here protecting you, protecting you. But you've got this vision now, Scorpio. You've got this beautiful, beautiful uh, vision. Stingray. Wow, this is about the chakras. And look at this black egg wanting to come out here. Another spirit card. Something's about to burst through from you, Scorpio. It's something very, very deep within you. It's coming from some very deep, sacred place within you. And you're just releasing it. You're just letting it out, up and out through the chakras. Oh, my God, and a unicorn. This is magical. <laughs> the mythical, the mythical unicorn comes out. Let's see what this is all about, Scorpio. What is going on? You are into something kind of deep here. Very deep. Honestly, not kind of deep. Looking at something. You're looking really deeply at something. Zen tarot card. Zen tarot card for up in the ether. Past lives. Oh my God, this goes really deep. <laughs> this goes along the lifelines here, something you've been working on for a really long time, not in just this lifetime, but for a very long time. Wow. Wow. Seeing, uh, seeing this, seeing this here in the now. Wow. This feels very intense. Move this over. You go there, you go there, and you go there. Wow. Very deep ancient magic coming from you right now. Oh, a new vision, a new vision coming in, seeing something clearly now with clarity kind of uh, washing over you. You just have this sense of clarity, this aha, this I get it, I get it. Loving this, I'm loving this huge revelation. What are you thinking about right now, Scorpio? What's on your mind right now? What are you thinking about right now, right now? Four of Swords. Wow, you've really gone deep. You've gone deep. You're in some kind of trance. <laughs> Maybe you're meditating. Maybe you're meditating and you're going deeper than you ever have before. So it feels kind of floaty, kind of etherish for you. <laughs> wow. Wow, going deep, Scorpio. Something got triggered. Something got enhanced. It got exaggerated. It got in your face where you couldn't ignore it. What led up to this? What led up to this for Scorpio? What led up to this massive healing? What is this healing about? God, the Hermit. Seven of Wands, Seven, and Knight of Swords. You are on a spiritual journey right now. You're going really deep. You're trying to find some uh, cosmic answers, some answers that really feel almost impossible, unobtainable in the physical being. So you're going very, very deep, but it's a spiritual awakening that's happening here. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You are cracking out of that chrysalis. You're breaking free of it. You've been cocooned. You've been on your own. You've been on the hermit journey here for a while. Look at the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, you are coming from such a dark time. It's been dark. It's been heavy. It's been hard. 
who you've been on guard. You've been really defending yourself, your ideas, your dreams here. But it came to a culmination here. It came, that's why we've got the super moon. It's just bigger even than the full moon. Something cracking wide open by the light of that moon. I'm wondering if it had something to do with this last Capricorn super moon that we had on July 3rd. Something broke free from you uh, during that moon cycle. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Knight of Swords. It's like you have this message now. You have this uh, prophecy now that you're trying to share. You're trying to get out. You're trying to um, share. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Massive spiritual awakening happening for Scorpio, for you, for you. You're feeling this. It's like you've gone on this inner retreat. All right, Spirit, what's your advice for Scorpio here? What's your advice? Tell me your advice for Scorpio. What's the advice? Six of Wands. <laughs> You're being so honored. That's why the Spirit... Uh, have their eye on you. The angels have their eye on you. You're being honored. You're being validated. You're being acknowledged from spirit here. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild, Scorpio. <laughs> it just came to this uh, screeching resolution here. It just, bam, it's just you had this internal scream going on for a little while and then it just screamed out. It was just stop, silence. <laughs> Rest now, Scorpio. Rest now because you're being honored. You're being lifted. You're being um, uplifted here by the divine. Oh, I love this. I love this. Beautiful, beautiful. What's in your heart space? What are you feeling right now? Tell me what Scorpio is feeling right now. Wow. King of Pentacles. Secure. Safe. Taurus energy coming into the mix feeling comfortable around the animals. Love that. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle, Dr. Doolittle stepping up. What led to this beautiful, beautiful King of Pentacles energy in the heart space for Scorpio? What brought that in? What brought that in? Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, reciprocity, fairness, evenness. Maybe something was out of whack. Well, it definitely was out of whack because everything was exaggerated. Everything was seemed bigger to you than it was. It was almost like this nightmare where you couldn't even wake up. You were probably trying to wake yourself up in this meditative state, in this peaceful um, state. You were trying to put yourself in where everything became exaggerated. Everything came uh, real big at you. Beautiful, beautiful, but you've evened out the energy by going into some kind of meditative state. Meditation has brought you here. It opened up doors for you. It, it um, really had this uh, energy, uh, like this channeling type energy of uh, a quandary of spirits. Quadre? I don't know. <laughs> Came through when you put yourself in this meditative state. And it was like you knew everything at once, all at once, everywhere, all at once here. So that that's amazing. That's amazing. It's a huge spiritual awareness. It's an awakening happening here. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's the challenge in the heart space? What's the challenge? The Empress. You're not quite open. You're still in protective mode. You're still in guard. You're still, you still have your guard up here. Arguing for your limitations, maybe, maybe, but you're not open to receiving other people's opinions right now or even uh, other information. You're focusing on your own, your own information that you are receiving here. So you're not listening to, um, you're probably not even listening to this reading <laughs> because you're so above me. <laughs> you're having this huge spiritual awakening and you're translating the cards in your own way. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So uniquely you comes from lifetime after lifetime. I mean, this is ancient magic here. This is a real, real magic here. So how beautiful. And it's a dream come true. You knew this was your purpose here. You knew this was your path. Meditation. This is all about meditation. Go deep, Scorpio. Let yourself go deep. Don't pull yourself back when you're right there. When you're right there. I feel like you you get there. You go, you go deep. You go very, very deep. And right when you're at that door, right when you're at the door, you just pull yourself back. It's like, not yet. 
<laughs> Queen of Cups in the future heart space. So you do start opening up. You do start sharing the bounty here, sharing what you've learned here, but not now, not right now. You can't, you can't. You're birthing it. You're birthing it. It's not ready. It's not ready. Boy, you're so close though. You're so close to this new vision. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's very spiritual. Spirit, what's your advice in the heart space for Scorpio? What's your advice? The emperor, my God, and justice. Wow. Wow. This was a law. This was meant to be. This is powerful. It's very powerful. But I love how you have the empress and the emperor in your heart space here, that counter part coming in, that divine partner coming in, a like-minded person coming in. And you're opening up your heart to them. So that's beautiful, beautiful. You each possess your own magic. You each possess your own power. You each rule your own world here. You're much more um, empathetic and open to receiving. And this one is much more logical, much more of an air sign type quality here. I love this. And then here comes Libra. Here comes Libra to say, you have, you have the reciprocity now. This is the law. This was, this was, uh, the law of attraction for you because you started meditating. I don't know how long ago, but you started meditating and allowing these new visions in, allowing these um, uh, uh, energies in. How beautiful, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You're very powerful, very powerful. But somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming in. Your counterpart is coming in. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's like this divine marriage coming in for you. <laughs> I love it. What's in the foundation here? What is the situation right now for Scorpio? Right now. Tell me about the right now. Seven of Swords. You're sneaking away. Sneaking away to this retreat. Maybe you can't get enough time in right now to meditate or um, just feels chaotic with that Knight of Swords up there in the future mind space. Like a lot of people asking questions or needing answers. Interesting. Interesting. So you shut yourself off. You cut off the energy. Pull your energy back. Go into hermit mode. Go into Virgo mode and take care of yourself. But there's something here that you feel like you're sneaking away from that you are. Um, maybe it's got too much. Maybe there's a group of people. Maybe it's a workplace that just comes at you and you just like, whoa. <clears throat> and so you're sneaking away from that. I don't know if anyone notices you're missing yet. <laughs> Ten of birds, it was way too heavy, way too burdensome. Wherever this environment was, it was way too burdensome. Too many people coming at you, too many responsibilities. You had so many responsibilities. My God, my God just got so heavy. It was just like, this is never going to end. But here, they, here it is. You're sneaking away. You're sneaking out of there, getting out of there. What's the challenge? What's the challenge to getting out of there? What's the challenge? Seven of Cups, again, with the sevens. The sevens are very, very sacred number in numerology. This is something sacred happening here. But challenge is overwhelming. Too many options, too many choices. you got to narrow it down. you got to pull it in and um, look at each one separately, not all together. Baby steps, baby steps out. Get the plan going. So much big, big energy waiting for you, Scorpio, that you have to start making the plan to get there. Future, future situation, future situation for Scorpio. Oh, God, do I love this. Ten of Cups, right underneath the Queen of Cups here. I mean, your emotions are uh, released here. You finally get to release. You get to be you. You get to share all of you, all of you. You're not holding back any longer. You're not censoring yourself any longer you've been censoring yourself for a while with that knight of swords not letting yourself um really really speak your true authentic using your true authentic voice here so you're you're singing it you're singing it out now now that you've kind of crossed over that uh threshold now that you've gone through that veil and you know uh you can always go back there you can always go back there so you're so relaxed now really relaxing in the moment it is what it is. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to release it. I'm not going to search for these answers any longer. And boom, boom, it just there they are. That is the answer. <laughs> just to let go, let go and let God. And here comes the 
you, you can hear it, the sonic boom of uh, understanding for you. What's your advice in the foundation spirit? What's your advice? Queen of Wands, wow. Wow, really getting your confidence, really understanding how powerful you are, that you have uh, so much more control in some areas than you thought, and you had to give up control in other areas, and that was probably very difficult, very difficult, because it's so hard for us to give up control. All of us, that's just so hard to give up control. But you did it. You did it. It was uh, meant to be right now, right now. Mm, very interesting. Let's get some clarity on this. And the Ace of Pentacles, oh my. The journey of the Pentacles is about to begin where you're really um, uh, finding, finding more money here, finding little pockets of money here, finding abundance in areas um, that you seek out. But it has to do with healing. It has to do with Mother Nature and herbs and potions and um, recipes <laughs> of some kind. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It just really, you're on this new path now. You're on this new journey, Scorpio. It's so beautiful. Very, very um, profound relationship coming here with the Empress and the Emperor. But I got to see about this meditation. What are you doing? What are you doing, Scorpio? How does this go so deep? What are you doing? <laughs> What's the purpose of that deep meditation? Oh, the King of Pentacles again. Again, you're, you're manifesting, you're manifesting this uh, a safe, secure environment for yourself. And it has to do with, uh, it, there's some animal next to you. There really is a loyal spirit <laughs> energy next to you, this uh, a loyalty, or, or you're very loyal to this animal as well. You take very good care of each other, very good care of each other. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But you are manifesting this very solid place for yourself. This, uh, I have everything I need. I, I've done it. And you're looking at someone. There's someone new stepping up here. Somebody stepping into your perspective now. A new vision for you when it comes to uh, relationships. Some relationship is coming for you. A soulmate connection coming for you that... Uh, you just see, you just see, it's just like, wow, right there. They were right there all along. Maybe they've been there all along. Let's see. We're going to get some clarification. I want to see what the Knight of Swords is. What are, what are all these words coming at Scorpio? What are all these words coming at Scorpio? What's that about? The tower. The tower. There's just complete chaos around you. That's why the super moon is here. Wow, hold on, hold on, Scorpio, because uh, right now you are in the thick of it. You are in the thick of it. You, you're making uh, decisions in the moment that you have to make. So just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. You're in almost survival mode. So just keep doing that. And uh, you're going to step into some new vision about it. Some new door is going to open. There's a new door waiting to open here. But you just got to get, just like getting out of the quicksand. You got to, You've got to do it slowly. You can't try to rush out of the quicksand or you just sink deeper. So don't try to rush out of this. Just find that uh, branch and uh, you're, you're headed for the King of Pentacles here. So find the branch. There's a branch. There's help. There's somebody extending help to you right now. So um, just grab it. Grab that olive branch. And wherever it's coming from, even if it's from somebody surprising, I'm thinking that's this emperor empress energy coming into the heart space here. So even if it's somebody surprising, you look up, you're just in the thick of it. Uh, chaos. There's a lot of chaos around you right now. <clears throat> and there, here comes this olive branch. Here comes this extension. And you grab it and you look up and it's the person you least expected. But uh, you're going to take the help. You're going to take the help. You have to. Have to. And uh, there's an honoring here coming in for you. There's this uh, real honoring <clears throat> with the Six of Wands. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice over that tower. <laughs> it took my voice away. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. What's this honoring of Scorpio? What's that all about? What's that all about? The Ten of Pentacles. You're, you're going to get everything you want here. There's just a something right now that you have got to get through. You've got to get through it. You will. You will just keep going deep in that meditation. You just keep shutting your eyes, finding five minutes to breathe in, breathe out, 
and find the calm in this chaos here because look, look at this with Aquarius energy, the healing, the massive healing coming in. Whew, I love this because it brings replenishment, it brings replenishment to a tired, weary Scorpio. It's so beautiful. It's just this burst of energy coming right at you that we're here. You've got this. You've got this. There's just an extension of energy to you, Scorpio. It's beautiful. It's me. It's me here. Take my hand. <laughs> You're headed for such big things here. You are manifesting such big things while you're in this chaos, while you're in this dark place here. So wow, wow, wow. You're going to see it. You're going to see it very soon. A wish come true, a miracle coming in for you. Whew. All right. We've got to look at this emperor and empress. What is this energy all about? Spirit, what is this divine couple coming in? Or Scorpio, what is that all about? What is that all about? What's the purpose? What's the purpose? Knight of Wands, get your fire back, get your energy back, get your health back, get your uh, mindset back. You got to get clear now. You got to get focused now because there's something coming in that needs your full attention. You got to detox. You got to clear. You got to find clarity here because it needs your full attention to find this uh, happy, happy, beautiful uh ending to that last cycle <laughs> and page of wands my god it's all about the internal fire Ooh, and it burns 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 for scorpio yeah something is burning something is on fire it's burning out the old it's vulture kind of uh uh, energy here where you're picking away the past. You're just setting yourself free of it. You're breaking those bonds. You're finding forgiveness in places where you never thought you would, but there's such a freedom for you in that forgiveness. Oh yeah. It was like you were in this prison of uh, looking back and, and uh, feeling so bitter about things. There's, there were relationships that just had no closure, that just had no um, solve for those wounds. It just kept festering and festering and festering. And then bam, it just uh, it got released, got released. You're just shutting the door. You're just shutting that door. You're not leaving the light on any longer uh, on a past that didn't serve you well. So you are rapidly heading into this beautiful, beautiful new fire of yours, new passion of yours, just as this was, this was uh, owed to you. This is karmic justice. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, Sagittarius coming into the mix. Wow, talk about fire. Massive, massive balance coming to you. Temperance coming to you patience coming to you uh it's like you're in this this the middle of this tornado scorpio and things are just flying around you it seems so chaotic or you're in the middle of this uh uh fire you're in this ring of fire i'm seeing this ring of fire it's like there is no way out there's no freaking way out i'm gonna die here and then bam, the stroke of luck, this hand, this hand from God, and it literally is a hand from God, comes into this chaos for you. You grasp it. You are pulled from the ashes. You are pulled from the chaos. And it's like the sun is here. It's like uh, this feeling you are resonating with this energy that has pulled you out. And there's a moment where uh, there's just this connection, this very, very profound connection. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Wow. It's just like in the nick of time. I am loving this. I am loving this. And you're trying to sneak away. You're not seeing this powerful uh, hand coming toward you. You're not seeing it. Wow. Look at this with strength. My God. <laughs> <laughs> this makes you so strong, makes you so powerful, so powerful because you realize what you are creating here. You realize that you have the power to manifest and it changes everything for you. But while you're sneaking away, while you think, okay, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I'm going to sneak away. I'm going to just uh, leave in the middle of the night. What What's that all about? What what is that all about? Maybe it's a workplace thing. Look at that with the eight of pentacles, or it's about your career or about your understanding of what that is, what your career is here. 
that you were sneaking away from something and you were sneaking away from the chaos, from absolutely from the chaos and the burdens. Probably at the workplace, probably. Although we do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, which is all about family. So maybe you worked in a family environment. Maybe that's it. And it was like this big Italian family that screams and yells and throws dishes. <laughs> I would know, so I'm not judging. But it was chaotic. It was chaotic. It was upset. It was uh, never peaceful in those Sunday dinners. It was just chaotic. And it was almost at this crescendo where you were having the Sunday dinner every freaking day. And you were going to sneak away from it. You were going to get out. You were going to do something, even if it meant, you know, going to, to, to a hotel for the weekend or something just to get this break. You needed this break because you were knowing that you needed to meditate. You needed to go quiet and you couldn't find quiet wherever you were at. So you were getting to the peace, getting to the quiet. And, uh, here came, here comes that hand. <laughs> Well, what is the overwhelmment about? Let's see this. I want to see the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups in the foundation? Why was Scorpio so overwhelmed? Why was Scorpio so overwhelmed? Spirit. Queen of Swords, because you were in control of everything. Everything was on you. You were the leader. You were making the decisions. You were the go-to. You were the only one you could go to. You didn't have anyone else you could go to. <laughs> <laughs> it was always go ask Scorpio and you had to figure your own life out, your own things out here. Nobody was there helping you either. That, that helping hand was not there. That that's coming for you. It is coming for you, but it was not there in the past. You just literally felt all on your own, real true hermit um, energy for you. Just felt that I got to do this. I have no other choice. I have no other choice. Who's going to get me out of this? Nobody, nobody. I have to do this. Well, that made you so strong. Wow, there it is. I knew, I knew, I knew that this card was going to come out because it's a major arcana. It is the powerful, powerful manifester. I create my own reality. My thoughts create my reality. And you're really, really coming into this understanding. You're so smart. You're so smart because you've managed to balance spirituality with practicality. You're very, very good at what you do. You put it first. You put it first. And you're very good at what you do. You can work amongst chaos. And that is so difficult to do. To keep your mind straight amongst chaos is so difficult to do. But you have an uncanny knack on how to do that, Scorpio. It's an internal uh, compass of yours where you just stay true north. You just stay true north. I am not going to waver here. I'm going to stay. Maybe after the fact, you break down, you go in the corner and you cry. <laughs> but in that moment, in that moment, that moment of crisis, people are coming to you. People are coming to you. What do we do, Scorpio? What do we do? Beautiful. Oh, Scorpio, my God, are you powerful? You are such a beautiful manifester right now. You can create anything you want to because you're at that breaking point, because you're at that point where something's got to give. Something's got to give, and it's not going to be me, Scorpio says. It's not going to be me. I've worked way too hard for this. <laughs> Divine partnership coming in for you, a counterpoint coming in for you, Scorpio, a savior coming in for you, an energy, a hand, a helping hand coming in for you. And right when you're sneaking away, when you're really, really fearful of what's going to happen here, when you're breaking down after the storm, when you're breaking down after the crisis, here comes this hand of spirit here. And it's, it's so beautiful because it turns you into this very, very, very powerful manifester, powerful creator, because you come into the understanding that I am creating this. God is beautiful. So beautiful. You've turned into a true guru now, Scorpio. Love this. All right. I think I will leave it here. If you like this reading, if you're still watching this far, bless you. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you, Scorpio. And I uh, hope you have a fantastical end of the month. It's going to be very, very powerful, very powerful. If you find yourself at this breaking point, at this on my knees breaking point, look up, look up. And be aware of who's around to help you, who's giving you that olive branch. Grab that olive branch, Scorpio, because it's, it's beautiful. And it's leading you to this bounty, this bounty of the King of Pentacles. 
this uh, secureness, this safety net, this spiritual safety net underneath you where it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. Um, you got this. So love it. All right, Scorpio, I will definitely tune in with you soon.